Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here for today's video. We are checking out one of my favorite players of all time, Allen Iverson. So keep in mind guys, this is NBA 2K19. Historical stuff does not work on 2K20. The game keeps on crashing. With that being said, I guarantee I will still have about 20 comments in the comment section below asking why I'm on NBA 2K19. Um, but yeah, man, for today's video, what we are going to be doing is trying to get Allen Iverson a championship ring. So what we have here is the 2000... 2001 Philadelphia 76ers we are going to be trading every single player on the team except Iverson to try to build a better team around him because of course this is the season they actually went to the NBA Finals and they lost four games to one to the Los Angeles Lakers so before we get going on today's video guys if you don't mind dropping that like if you guys enjoy this series of the historical players get this video to 1,000 likes and uh, yeah let me know in the comment section below which player slash teams you want to see next and also if you're one of the 50% of people that watch my videos that are not subscribed man what are you doing bro I'm trying to 300,000 subscribers. Go need to hit that subscribe button if you don't mind. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. If you are a new subscriber, uh, let me know in the comment section below, man. So, uh, yes, this team right here, it's crazy to think and just knowing how insane Allen Iverson must have had to play to take this team to the NBA Finals because we don't have a lot to work with. Like, Eric, Bl or, I'm sorry, I almost said Eric Blood. So, Eric Snow um, is fine. I mean, he was a ball handling point guard, didn't really bring in much offense. Dikembe Mutombo was 34. Yeah, he was getting old. Uh, Tyrone Hill, Aaron McKee, George Lynch. Just like, not a lot going on here, man. Not a lot of trade values. So, I'm thinking for this kind of kind of like the uh route to go with this video or kind of the strategy is I need to trade for older players because as far as tra training for good prime young guys it's just not gonna happen we don't have the trade value to do so man so we're gonna go in this uh you know be a little finessey out there and do what we can but uh yeah I think ultimately we should be able to build a championship team so the first player I am going to be looking le looking at is just some dude that I just want to sit on the three-point line and just shoot threes just help space the floor for iverson as he gets to the basket because you are not going to want to leave this man wide open even today as a commentator you would still not want to leave him open the man on the indiana pacers reggie miller age 35 84 overall um six seven so probably have to throw him at small forward but yeah pretty much plain simple guys we are going to have to just have him out there on the three-point line so we got one trade offer of eric snow in exchange for Reggie Miller. It's an 81 overall for an 84. I'm definitely happy with that. And uh, yeah, it just gives another guy that's hungry for a championship like uh, like Iverson, especially later in his career. So put him at small forward, goes up to an 85 overall. Or we could put Iverson at point guard if we have to do that. Maybe I will. Depends on what other shooting guards or small forwards are offered to us in this. But uh, there we go, man. Okay, okay. Not bad. Okay, next up, we are going to go with another guy that's going to play point guard. Uh, all-time leader in steals. We, there might not be any offers for him, but he does play for the Utah Jazz. I feel so bad taking this man off the Utah Jazz. Um, and that's going to be John Stockton, who's 38, 81 overall player. I just feel like at this point, he would be the perfect player to play with Iverson. Just because, like, he can still shoot the three ball. So, offensively, he can take pressure off you. He's just a smart guy. I mean, obviously, smart's one of the greatest point guards of all time. Um, is there going to be any offers, though? There is. We got four offers. So, we got a first-round pick and Tony Kukoc, who is 33 at this point. Uh, that's not a bad trade at all. We got Aaron McKee, who is a 75 overall player, Jermaine Jones. Uh, here we get John Stockton and Greg Os Ostertag out of it. And, of course, we got the Reggie Miller trade, who I am not going to be trading away. So, yeah, let's do this trade. I'll uh, go with Tony and the first-round pick. Those first-round picks can be valuable in these type of videos. But, uh, yeah, we'll get John Stockton. I'm happy about that. Okay, I think next up, we're just going to try to, like, visit the uh, trade finder here. I'd love to get, like, I don't know, man, like a Ben Wallace or somebody like that, who I know has not quite reached all-star form yet, so we might be pretty cheap here. Um, see if he can get offered up for Dikembe Mutombo. Uh, we got Theo Ratliff. I think he actually used to play for the 76ers. Maybe not. Uh, David Wesley for a shooting guard. Now, we definitely got to look at some big guys here for sure, man. And uh, not really loving the offers. Eric Snow again. Uh, we got, there we go. We got Ben Wallace, 82 overall player probably the route to go or david robinson would be a little interesting um no man i think i'm gonna go with big ben wallace just because he's somebody that's gonna be uh, set some hard screens for guys like reggie miller run off the screen of course it's gonna be that defensive beast and you know grab you some rebounds and stuff like that and uh yeah not really going to demand the ball from iverson you're, you're pretty much gonna get the most out of ben wallace and it's not gonna take away from the offense whatsoever anything he's gonna get you some more shots because of his offensive rebounding so while the kemi matumbo was actually quite a beast this season i think ben wallace is gonna help this team out a lot there we go man okay Next up, we do need a power forward. So we got to keep in mind, this is the era where uh, you didn't really need a stretch forward. Like, you did not need one whatsoever. Now, if one's offered up, then hey, 
we'll take a look at that. But uh, for the most part here, man, we might just look at the best available. So let's toss in Tyrone Hill and Aaron McKee. We're definitely going to be uh, heavy towards our starting five minute wise. So we got to keep that in mind here. Uh, here we got Lindsey Hunter and Scott Williams. Okay, we got Fred Hoidberg with this freaking <laughs> tuxedo on, whatever the hell that is. Clarence Weatherspoon. Uh, Michael Olakanandi, who I think is a big time bust, isn't he? He's one of the biggest busts in the NBA, I believe. Bryant, uh, Brian Grant and Tim Hardaway for a good backup point guard. Uh, yeah, Brian Grant, I mean, he's just kind of like your traditional type of player. Bit of a mid-range shot, so if we put him at power four, that could be a little interesting. Does he have much of a post-up game? Because that would be kind of important, too. Um, I mean, it's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. There's uh, David Wesley and Daniel Marshall. There is our floor spacer. If we do want to go that route, he does have an 81 three-point shot. Pretty clutch player, actually, too. We also get a backup point guard in Jack Vaughn. I think so far that trade is probably winning just because, like, with Ben Wallace in the paint, you know, I do want a guy that can space the floor to some extent. Like, it's just how I like to run my teams out there. And, uh, yeah, now also, David Robinson could be a little interesting at the four spot. 75 mid-range shot. Um, of course, knock me knocking down a lot of threes or nothing like that. But uh, 82 overall player. We could go with a 38-year-old Hakeem Olajuwon, who uh, hits a 68 three-point shot. I mean, it, it, it's hard for me to go back when I see, like, David Robinson here, and it's hard for me to go back and just go for Daniel Marshall. Like, how can I choose? Now, David Robinson at this point is better than Hakeem. Hakeem is very old. Um, and we also get Avery Johnson, who could be a pretty solid backup point guard for this team anyway. So I think this is probably the right trade, guys. And, uh, yeah, Ben Wallace can also play power forward. He's did it for a few seasons, so we'll see who kind of goes up rating-wise at that. Uh, ben Wallace goes to an 83. David Robinson also goes to an 83. So, yeah, just because he's shorter, you know, 6'9", we'll put Ben Wallace at the power forward spot, and that should be pretty solid for us. So, our starting five is nice. It's definitely better than what the actual starting five was. Lots of old heads out there. And Ben Wallace and Allen Iverson. But yeah, very old team, but uh, hopefully we can get a little young here with the bench. Let's go with uh, George Lynch and Jumaine Jones up next. Yeah, definitely want to focus on getting some youth. Lindsey Hunter, Garvin Ham, Fred Hoiberg again, uh, Eric Williams. A lot of guys that, you know, this is like before my time of watching basketball. Uh, Brevin Knight. I actually used to like Brevin Knight quite a bit. So that's who my NBA player comparison was, believe it or not. Brian uh, Grant, 80 overall player off the bench. There's David Wesley again for a little offense. Daniel Marshall and Greg Ostertag. I like that a lot. Just gives us a different type of power forward on the team. And uh, we were kind of looking at him already earlier. Eric Snow, we're not going to go for him again. Yo, Michael Curry. You say actually coach the Detroit Pistons. There's Hakeem again, uh, which would actually be kind of beastly if it came off the bench. But no, I think I'm going to go back here, guys, and go with the Daniel Marshall and Greg Ostertag trade. Just getting two positions that we do need. So next up, we can focus on a shooting guard. Shooting guard, um, although Iverson is going to be playing the majority of the minutes, let's be honest. But, you know, just somebody that's there for a little consistency. So, yeah, backup small forward slash shooting guard would be the way to go. And we still got some pretty decent-ish players to trade here, assuming some draft picks are tossed in. That would help out a lot. But, uh, yeah, not really looking for any specific type of shooting guard. Maybe just the best one available for us. Isaiah Ryder and Mark Madsen. Uh, Kelvin Booth. That name sounds very familiar. Yo, uh, Jonathan Mender. This dude was like 6'9". No, 6'11". I actually think he played shooting guard a little bit. Actually seems a little bit too tall. I think he was about 6'9". But I could be wrong about that. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, not anybody that's really breaking the bank here. Let's go with, for the final player. Well, it's not the final one, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't want any of these guys. Give me Isaiah Ryder and Mark Madison. Why not, man? Uh, they're from the Lakers. Hopefully, it makes the Lakers a little bit weaker, right? All Because that's the team that we will probably have to deal with, assuming we can actually get to the finals. All right. Uh, next up, let's go with... Well, we just got a few guys left on the list here. Um, this is just going to be like, you know, third string rotational players. Or maybe some fan favorites. If we see somebody that we're just like, yo, give me that guy on this team. That's kind of what we'll go with. Uh, Brian Cardinal. He was kind of like a Brian Scalabrini type of guy. Where, uh, yeah, people just liked him because he was not very athletic and did stuff on the basketball court. Um, Mahoub Abdul Reef. I probably said that wrong, but isn't that guy... This is the guy that was like Steph Curry before Steph Curry, right? I could be wrong about that. He don't got no player stats that I'm... Oh, there, here we go. Yeah, this guy was Steph Curry before Steph Curry, guys. Like, straight up. I mean, look at those three-point shooting percentages. I'm gonna get him just for that reason. Like, uh, if you look... Like, there's actually videos about him. I mean, the dude was really the real deal. Okay, uh, next up, we are going to go with, we only got a few players left here, Speedy Claxon, uh, Rashawn McLeod, this guy, yeah, okay, we can only do uh, three guys at a time, and then we'll end off, end off with that last guy here. We got four trade offers, we're going to go with 
Fred Hoidberg. He was a coach, so hopefully you can do some coaching on the bench because that's about all you're going to be seeing during this video there, my friend. And then finally, we got... Okay, I think that was it, actually. That, that was everybody, man. Uh, the team is set. I am going to get my starting rotation out there going, everything like that. Get my coaches, all that good stuff here, man. I'll see you in one second. Okay, so this is what the final rotation is looking like. At point guard, we do have John Stockton, the two-spot. We got Allen Iverson playing 46 minutes. I miss just that type of season for him, right? Uh, Reggie Miller at the three, Ben Wallace at the four, and Dave Robinson at the five. I actually really like Ben Wallace at the four spot just because, you know, he's going to be sending some hard-ass picks for Reggie Miller off the curl and stuff. And, uh, yeah, just allowing Ben Wallace to play defense on the best offensive player on the other team. Uh, just do things like that should be really nice, man. I think he's really getting some just some nice rebounds and outlets to Allen Iverson for some quick scores. Uh, bench, you do got Daniel Marshall, Avery Johnson, Isaiah Ryder, and Greg Ostertag for a nine-man rotation. Um, as far as our system proficiency, we are going with a four-star balance system with coach Larry Brown. Man, I forgot Larry Brown was the coach of this team. So, yeah, it should be interesting. As far as our team record, um, I mean, I do know sometimes in these type of simulations with, like, the old-school rosters, it's easy to get a lot of Ws. So, I'm actually going to say probably about a 65-win team, guys. I'm kind of upping it right here. I just think Iverson's going to be a beast for us. So, 65 wins is my prediction. Uh, going to go ahead and simulate the NBA season. And we're going to see how Allen Iverson and the 76ers can do. Okay, so I was pretty damn accurate on this prediction, guys. 65-16 and 16 is the record. We do have one more game against the Bulls. So, I'm actually kind of hoping for an L right here just so I can be right about it. Uh, one more game, simulate through date and finish with a W on the season. So 66 and 16. And we got Shaquille O'Neal winning MVP on the season, not Allen Iverson. Uh, Lonnie Baxter, rookie of the year. Rodney Rogers as a six man. I don't know why that name made me laugh. Shaq is a defensive player. Yeah, this is going to be a freaking problem here, guys. But we do got Larry Brown as coach of the year. Um, All NBA first team, Tracy McGrady, Allen Iverson, Dirk, KG, and Shaquille O'Neal. All NBA second, Vade Divac, uh, Antonio Mickey McDice, Carl Malone. Baron Davis and C. Francis, and we got Vince Carter, Kobe, Tim Duncan, uh, Chris Weber, and Alonzo Mourning for that. There it is, man. There it is. And, of course, the Lakers are the other team in the Western Conference. So, uh, let's go to the player stats on the season. And we do got Iverson at about 30 points, 7 assists, 3 steals per game off about 23 shots. Uh, playing some beautiful basketball. Then second in command, Reggie Miller at 22 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists per game. Love the 5 assists. Daniel Marshall was fantastic for us off the bench. And then John Stockton. See, this is what I love about him, man. The 11 assists and also the nearly 2 steals per game. That's all I wanted. He shot 50% field goal percentage, so he was taking smart shots 46% from 3. I actually would have probably preferred him to shoot a few more threes out there, but two a game is not bad during that era. Uh, David Robinson, old, but still fine. Ten points, nine rebounds, two assists, two blocks per game. That's good, good stuff. Not as good as what uh, Matumbo did that season, but still not bad. And then Big Ben Wallace, 14 rebounds, uh, about one steal and two blocks per game. While getting eight points, not bad. Uh, about 49% uh, field goal percentage. Rest of the bench unit looking like this. Of course, they weren't playing a ton of minutes. Fred Horbrick even managed himself one point per game, so... Shout out to him. He's the only one that's just wearing a damn tuxedo, bro. What's he doing? Okay. Here we go. First round, Boston Celtics. Paul Pierce, Antoine Walker. If you remember this team, you remember this team. I think Paul Pierce was like 23 around this time. So simulate current round. See how this goes. We're just going to lose in the first round. That's just going to be the end of the video. No, man. Iverson's got to get that first ring. And we beat the Boston Celtics four games to zero. So checking this out, we got... Uh, yeah, Paul Pierce kind of played like a scrub. So did Antoine Walker. Iverson, 30 points, 4 rebounds, 14 assists, 7 turnovers, but that's okay. 21-8 for uh, Reg Miller and 16-9-2 for David Robinson. Um, next up, the Charlotte Hornets, who were the Bobcats at the time. At least I think they were. They might not. They, I don't think they were the Bobcat, cut, bleh, Bobcats quite yet. That shit is tough to say, bro. Say that shit three times fast. Alrighty, so they got B. Diddy. Simulate current round, man. See what we can do. So far, so good. 2 0, 3 0. Things. Uh, 3 1. Come on, man. Okay, there we go. We are in the Eastern Conference Finals against the seventh seed, uh, Toronto Raptors. So I'm kind of hoping that Kevin Garnett can get it done in the Western Conference just because I don't really want to deal with Shaq and Kobe. But, uh, you know, man, it is what it is. We got to deal with Vince Carter on the Toronto Raptors. Simulate current round here. And three games to zero, four games to zero. And, of course, we do have the Los Angeles Lakers. In the NBA Finals. It all comes down to this, guys. Just like it did originally. Okay, simulate with SimCast. Game 1. See if Iverson can have another historical game. It's just ooh, not looking good. It not, look, not looking good at all, man. Come on, Iverson. Bounce it back, baby. And, yes, we come back and win 107-96. to 96. 28 points, actually, for Reggie Miller. Having the big-time game this time around. Hey, 
I don't think Iverson would be complaining about that. All right, simulate with SimCast. Game two. Game two, guys. Come on, man. Let's go out there. Don't even give them a chance. And it uh, seems like David Robinson and Ben Wallace, you know, both those guys dealing with... Uh, yeah, 17 points for Ben Wallace dealing with Shaquille O'Neal. It's actually working out, holding him to 18 points and 11 rebounds. Uh, that's really good. Plus, uh, you know, John Stockton, Reggie Miller, those guys are not bad defenders at all either. So, just things making things a little bit difficult out there for Kobe Bryant on the perimeter. All right, simulate with SimCast. We are up two games to zero. So far, so good. If we can go up 3-0, I'll feel so confident about this, man, as I probably should, as we blow them out 112-78. to uh, John Stockton playing like his old days on the Utah Jazz, which wasn't too long ago because he played with him, you know, his entire career up until this point. Kobe Bryant, 5 for 20, 8 for 15 for Shaq, man. We are locking them up, baby. All right, here we go. Simulate with Simcast. See if we can do it, man. We should be able to. Come on, man. Okay, maybe not. Kobe and uh, Shaq want to make it a little difficult, and they get that game 92 to 84. Iverson shot 30 times this game. Um, I think the key to our success, Iverson, is for you not to shoot 30 times. You know, I know you want to have your games like that, which is fine, but uh, maybe not in the playoffs in the NBA Finals. Okay, simulate with SimCast. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Do not give them the 3-2, guys. Do not give them the 3-2. Things looking pretty good in the fourth quarter. We are down to the uh, last 46 seconds. You know what, man? We're going to win this. Uh, let's go ahead and celebrate. Yo, Ben Wallace wearing number zero. What is up with that? We got to give to Iverson, though. Of course it's got to be Iverson. Come on, Big Ben, some of that pick. Here we go, LU baby. Yo, not over Shaq. That's not. That was not gonna happen. It's okay. Derek Fisher trying hard, man. Get that shit out. Okay, well, yeah, it's a good thing we, uh, you know, we started the simulation a little later like this because I'll probably screw things up. All right, we got Stockton, Miller, Killer out there. You know, what, Iverson, Damian Lillard. Okay, well, not great, man. Not great. But hey, it's still a 12-point game. If I blow a 12-point lead, that could be the biggest choke in 2K history, man. Yeah, you're scared. You're scared, man. You're scared. Daniel Marshall said nobody ever. All right, give it up. Give it up. Should I try dunking on him? No, let me, uh, where's Reggie Miller at? Right, here we go. Let's try it out. Ooh, I like the jump shot, man. Yes, sir. Miller from three. He did not actually have a very good game. I was in at 20 points. In general, it's pretty low scoring. But, uh, there's Kobe Bryant. Miss Kobe. Love Kobe so much. But, uh, oh, he was about to dunk on Ben Wallace. He's about to freaking 360 between the legs, guys. But there we go, man. We got Allen Iverson, the answer. Getting his first NBA championship ring with John Stockton and Reggie Miller. All these guys getting first-time rings. That's what it's all about. You love to see it. He is getting geeked up. Yes, sir. You are going to tear something, man. John Stockton, you are not young. You are like 70 now. So are you, Reggie. There we go, man. Yo, look at the celebration. It actually looks better than 2K20 celebration. Not going to lie. People out there dancing. Gonna get Phil Jackson a little kiss. Wait. Whoa, pause. He's like, come on, man. Get, I'll get you on the Lakers, bro. Come on, man. Come to the Lakers, bro. Come on, man. You can play with Kobe. It'd be fantastic. And, uh, yeah. Holding that trophy. Finals MVP. The answer. At least I think so. He's not officially holding the trophy. All right, there it is. There it is, man. Okay, guys. Hope you all did enjoy this video. I'm trying to get past this screen so we can actually uh, see the final stat line. Although you kind of saw the points towards the end there. And there we have it, Iverson, 20 points in the closeout, 50 and 18, three steals for uh, Big Ben Wallace, and uh, yeah, Shaq and Kobe, just, that's one thing I really underrated about our entire team is we uh, clamped them up, guys, the defense was really, bro, just ferocious, thank you all so much for watching, that's all I got, peace out, my friend.